Well, my puddle's back. Well, it's a little bit bigger than it was before. So, yeah, when we were uh, ripping and I was saying that we had some rain coming, uh, I was not expecting uh, that much rain because that is one flooded field. So we are probably going to have to replant the cover crop because it's going to be drowned out. Uh, I don't know what's going to go on with that piece over there because I ripped it. This is like worst case scenario because I ripped it. So that soil is loose. So that could be you taking my soil down the river that way. Um, anyways, we're, this isn't going to be a long video, but all the work that we did down here is pretty much uh, void now. Um, on a pause but note, here's our double crop soybeans. And you can kind of see it's planted a little bit weird down here because when we planted it, uh, it got wet in that area, so we just gave up. And that's why down there isn't planted, which now is not a bad thing because they'd be drowned and dead. So we're gonna get a little bit of a drone shot. Uh, actually, I have some soybeans that are planted early over on the other side of this field. Uh, this field just got cut up a lot more than normal. Normally we just plant uh, everything one shot all the way to the other end. Uh, I got a neighbor over there with some uh, corn. We're gonna take the drone. We're gonna see how high the water is uh, on his corn. But this is definitely unfortunate. That's what we have to deal with some days. I know I, only, I always seem to be picking on this field this year, but uh, I have some really good looking crops everywhere else. But uh, this spot right here, it's always seemed to just get pounded with rain. And that's getting pounded with rain here isn't exactly why it's flooded. Uh, so if you look at Ontario, the whole point, that big tip, you know, I'm south, southern, mid southern way there. Anyways, uh, London got all that rain, plus all the all that tip got that rain. I would say all of Ontario, but Ontario is so huge that's not fair to say. So uh, the whole tip of Ontario got uh, six to four and a half inches of rain, depending on where you live. So that means the river is now flooded. Normally we do not have to worry about the river flooding at this time of year. Uh, this is usually a problem in the spring when all the snow is melting and we get a flood. Uh, not very often you see it happen down here like this here uh, September September 26th is what we are so let's get the drone and we'll go for a flight and kind of see what's up you can see uh, the Canadian geese are just loving it just loving life so in case you're wondering uh, this is a DJI mini 2 for the drone and I've been pretty happy with it. it can handle the wind very well and it seems to be getting good footage just in case anybody ever wanted to know what I was using for a drone I recommend it so far. Let's see if we can crash it. So I thought I'd fly over my double crop soybeans. Pretty happy with them. They look really good. Uh, they potentially could be one of the better beans we have this year because we've had so much rain uh, before we planted these and these have had a nice amount of rain and heat. So pretty happy. And then now we're just flying over looking at uh, a little bit of disaster, all the, the water laying. As we keep flying, we'll check it out. We're going to head right to the river and fly back the other way. Now that we're coming the other way, you can see where we were ripping the dirt and it's now underneath. And I guess that's not going to be very good. I'm pretty confident it's going to wash away a lot of my topsoil. Uh, this is exactly what I didn't want to happen. The whole point was to put a cover crop in so it holds the soil. And as we're coming up, we're coming up right now to where we uh, did plant some of that cover crop. Uh, it's underwater, we're gonna have to replant it because it'll be drowned out. And I don't even know if there's enough root mass there to hold that soil there. Uh, like I said, normally this is, this is not an issue um, for worrying about this time of year because we don't have flooding this time of year except for this year. Now we're flying over my uh, bean field. You can see it's pretty well ready to be harvested except for the massive stream going through it. Uh, I'm not too sure what's gonna happen until we harvest it. As my neighbor's chunk of dirt, because we're going to keep flying through and just kind of follow this river, we're going to get to his cornfield and we're going to see how high the river is up into his corn. All that is drowned out. Uh, I, I don't know if the river pushed that corn over or whether it never grew in the beginning because it was wet there, but I'm pretty sure it did push it over. I'll know more when the river goes down. Uh, we're just going to kind of keep just looking around. I'm gonna fly up to the corn and see kind of how far it is into the water is into the field. I'm pretty sure it's up to the cobs. If it's not up to the cobs, it's just about there. See the geese are loving life. 
new spot to swim. They're happy. Yeah, it's it's way up into the field. That's it's pretty wild. Can't believe it. Devastation. So there we have it. That's the drone flight. That's pretty much all I'm going to show this video. It's probably going to be a three, four minute video, which is just perfect. Just kind of show what we're dealing with. Uh, basically, all the work that we did is now in void. So let's do it all over again when it dries. Uh, so we are up to date with the videos uh, once you see this one. Uh, after this video, either we'll be harvesting beans or it's going to be my bin build, one or the other. Uh, the bin build is, I've been working on it for the last week and a half trying to get uh, everything they've been doing. So you're gonna kind of see the weather and what's been going on and just short clips of uh, just me talking here and there and the bin get actually getting built. So it should be pretty cool. So anyways, make sure you like and subscribe. Uh, let's get the harvest, um, hopefully. <laughs> Peace, bye.